These are the kinds of projects that I absolutely love to see. One of the world's largest batteries made by Tesla has just come online in California. And this battery pack is going to be expanded, making it one of the world's three largest batteries. By the way, this actually will deliver measurable results. One of those being cheaper electricity prices to people in the local area. And of course, a lot less pollution as well. To me, it doesn't get any better. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Viking, great to see you here. Please excuse the voice. I'm sure it'll sort it out itself out within a couple of days. So, big thank you to all of you who have subscribed to the channel. It's fantastic to have you here, and thank you for supporting my my boys and me on our other little channel project. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm so great to have so many new subscribers there. I really appreciate your support. And also, one more big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Without you, this channel wouldn't be here. Thank you. Pacific Gas and Electric's 182 megawatt Tesla Megapack Elkhorn battery is now in operation, the Associated Press has just said. Now, the energy storage system is located in Monterey Bay's Elkhorn Slough in Slow or Slough. Let me know how to pronounce that in the comments below. The energy storage system is a partnership between Tesla and PG&E. Included in this system, there is 256 megapacks sitting on 33 concrete slabs. They have the capacity to store and dispatch 730 megawatt hours of energy to the grid. However, it's planned that this battery pack will actually be increased in size to 1.1 gigawatts, which would make it one of the three largest batteries on the face of the earth. Now, this system was actually approved all the way back in 2018, but, well, it took two years for the local council to give it the go-ahead, which is just crazy. We have, unfortunately, we have lots of local councils like that here in Australia as well. Seems to be the way it is in the West. If this had been in China, honestly, or somewhere in Eastern Europe or somewhere in Asia, probably would have happened in a very short space of time. Now, this is actually one of nine different projects that will bring much more energy storage in the form of batteries to PG&E. PG&E Corporation CEO Paddy Pop spoke of the need for innovative partners such as Tesla as the utility moves toward a clean energy future. She said, we are committed to safely delivering reliable and clean energy in a way that achieves the greatest value for our customers, but we can't do it alone. We can't go alone into this clean energy future. Projects like this require innovative partners such as Tesla and PG&E will continue to seek out and work with the best and brightest to provide breakthrough clean energy solutions for our customers. What's happening? Well, Last year, Tesla built a factory specifically for its Megapack batteries. That factory now employs 1,000 people in the San Joaquin County area in California. This new factory will actually help Tesla produce Megapacks to meet the demand for its top-selling battery storage systems, which, while demand for those will massively increase once the price starts to come down, once those battery cells in these packs are lithium-ion phosphate, which they eventually will be, as has even been said by Elon Musk himself. So essentially, if you order one of these packs now, it's definitely going to be cheaper than when PG&E ordered it back in 2018. Prices have already come down, even in the current environment. That's the good news. The other good news is Tesla's not the only company doing this. There's other battery companies deploying battery packs, and some of those use lithium iron phosphate already. So yes, those will be cheaper already than these alternatives. Now, interestingly, what happened in Australia when Tesla deployed the world's biggest battery. At the time, it was the world's biggest. It's now only one third of the size of this pack, although they are doubling the size right now. When they deployed that battery in South Australia, right, it was mocked by our government. Seriously, our prime minister called it the big banana. For Tesla, big battery has been mocked by critics since day one. By all means, have the world's biggest battery, have the world's biggest banana, have the world's biggest prawn. He said it was a waste of time and money 
and it was a joke. Well, the thing is, it made its money back within the space of two years. So they doubled the size. How did it do that? Well, it not only saved customers money, it also saved the energy company money because instead of these big peaker plants who turn on these massive gas generators in times of when the grid doesn't have enough power to support itself, well, the grid could now use Tesla's pack instead. It's much faster than using the peaker plants. It's also much cheaper. So what happened was they actually paid off the cost of that big battery very quickly. Consumers got cheaper electricity and also they didn't have blackouts. They used to have blackouts. The power would just go out for hours in the whole city. Now they don't have them because the problem was peaker plants, these massive gas-fired peaker plants would come on, but it'd still take them an hour, a couple of hours to actually generate the power needed to support that excess demand being generated by the grid on certain days of the year. For example, when it was really hot. We have quite a few days of the year when the temperature is over 40 degrees Celsius. That is when everyone turns on the air conditioners, then the, this huge electricity demand goes into the grid. The grid can't actually meet that demand. And so then it just blacks out. Well, in the case of Tesla's battery in Australia, it actually worked perfectly because instead of the grid just blacking out, that battery energy could be sent straight into the grid within a matter of seconds, meaning the blackouts stopped. It worked for everyone really well. So these packs are absolutely brilliant, and I believe they're going to be built out all over the world. Why? Well, renewable energy generation is already cheaper to deploy right now. And in some cases, it's actually cheaper to deploy new renewable energy than simply to continue to run existing coal-fired plants. So many coal-fired plants around the world are so incredibly inefficient. They have to run at about 90% capacity in order to actually generate money. Most of them run at about 70%. Seriously, about 80% of the world's coal plants run at only between 60% to 70% of their peak energy generation. So therefore, they're either breaking even or losing money. Crazy. But remember, the great news is these are being built out now incredibly quickly. And once sodium batteries become part of this equation, not just lithium ion phosphate, but also sodium batteries, we're going to see energy storage just pop up all over the planet. Coal-fired plants will disappear. This will happen very quickly. Why? Because money. Once something's cheaper and it's markedly cheaper, things change quickly. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.